hi and welcome to this powershell quick tip video this video we're going to be taking a look at not necessarily a specific commandlet but more as a process to automate how to find large folders so this is something that system administrators might have to do um, or server administrators might have to do or it's something that you might want to run on your home pc as well to see exactly where the large amounts of files that are secretly taking up space on your hard drive. I know there are tools for this, uh, but this is a great way to get a lot of practice in with PowerShell and it does not actually take that long to do. So what I actually went ahead and did is I created ourselves a large repository of user home drives here. So each user has documents, music, and videos. And then inside of those, there's also some other folders. Um, and some of these folders have files in them. Some of them have other folders and other files. Now, some of the most of these files are empty. There are a few folders that will actually have some data in there. And we're going to try to find these because if I go ahead and let's just see how big that entire data folder is, we can actually see that it is 36 gigs big. So let's see where exactly are these files um, and see uh, wh who they belong to and what exactly they are. So let's go ahead and let's just start off by grabbing our list of home drives or our list of folders that we really want to investigate here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our variable called folders and we're going to make that equal to get child item and we're going to do a path here and we're going to look on C backslash data and if we go ahead and we just run this real quick and we just look at what is inside folders, we will see that we get the list of all of our user folders here. So that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. So let's go ahead. Let's just shrink this back down here. And we're going to do this in two versions. Both versions are going to be in this video because the first one does not take that long. Gets the job kind of done but we're actually going to go a little bit more in detail right afterwards so let's go ahead and let's create a for each loop here um, let's actually first create our folder or our array of large folders so let's just say here large folders and we're going to make that equal an empty array and we're going to do a for each folder in folders we're going to go ahead open and close curly brackets here and let's go ahead and let's get the size right away so we're going to do size equals open and close parentheses and we're going to do get child item path is going to be the folder dot full name and we're going to get files and we're also going to recurse on this. So that means it's going to go down into every single level of the folder. So it's going to go inside other folders as well. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pipe that to measure object. And we're going to do a property and we're going to do it on the property of length. This is going to give us our size. And we want to do the sum. And then what we're going to do is right after the closing parenthesis, we're going to do dot sum here. And that's going to sum them all up together. So now if we actually go ahead and we do this and we just output what the size is real quick, we're going to see that we get a bunch of zeros and then we're going to see some large files here. So these are all in bytes. So we have to convert these sizes into... Uh, you can do it into megabytes or gigabytes. We're going to do it in megabytes here. So we're going to create a variable called size in MB. So you know exactly what the sizing is. So it's going to be size divided by one megabyte. If you wanted to do gigabyte, you would just do this. And of course, you'd probably want to change your variable name for that. So if the size is bigger, so now we're going to do if the size in megabytes is greater than, let's say we're going to check for anything that is greater than five gigs in our case. Now we know that one gig is 1,028 megabytes. 
we're going to do that times five. So now we can see here, if we actually just look at that, it is going to be 5,140 megabytes what we're looking for. If that is true, what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to create a entry variable here, and we're going to create that as a new object type name PS custom object here and then we're going to add member our input object is going to be entry the member type is going to be a note property and then the name we are going to put that as folder name and the value for that is going to be folder dot full name because we want the full path in our case and then we're going to add another member here, input object. Now, of course, you can create objects many different ways. This is just an easy way for videos for people to follow along. And it kind of follows my earlier tutorials. So we're going to have add member input object entry member type note property. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the name here. And we're going to put um, that as size in and B, because we want to make sure that we're also telling whoever is going to use the script what size that it's giving. And then we're going to do the value here. And what I like to do is I like to just use the math. And we're going to use the rounding feature. We're going to do size in MB, and we're going to round it to the nearest two decibels. And that should be good. And then once we have that, we're going to go ahead and do a large folders plus equals entry. So we're adding that into our large folders variable. And then we can go ahead and we can just display large folders at the end here. So here we have our entire script. Let me just zoom out here so you guys can probably see it a little bit better. So there we have it. We're getting all of our folders inside of our home drive area. We're creating an empty array to store any folders that are large. If it's greater than five gigabytes, we're going to go ahead and insert it into our array and we're going to go ahead and display that. So if we go ahead and we just run that here, we just bring up the results. We actually see that we have two users that have roughly about 18 gigs worth of data in them and we can see that it is user 101 and user 52. now you could in fact then send them an email and ask them to clean it up or go investigate yourself and see exactly where it could be but once again we kind of hit this problem where we can actually go into it there's a bunch of different folders we're going to be stuck going through these i just found one file that's six gigabytes um, but this could take some time, and this is a, quite a simple layout of folders. Here's another folder. It's only taking uh, two gigs here, so that's not too, too bad. That's not what we found. So we're going to be stuck going through this. You're going to have to figure out where you've already looked, where you haven't looked. There's a much easier way to actually do this as well. So let's go ahead and let's just shrink this back down. Now, the good thing is... The majority of the work that we've done, we will actually be able to keep. So what I like to keep is I like to keep this. So we're going to first investigate to see if the folder is worth going into. You don't necessarily want to deep dive and check individual folders inside of a folder if that top level folder isn't even five gigs because it doesn't really give you any benefit. So what we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're just going to cut the actual entry part out because we're going to need that in a little bit anyways. So what we're going to say is once the once we know that the folder is over five gigabytes, what we're going to say is we're going to add inside folders as a variable here. And we're going to do a get child item again on the path of folder dot full name. So we're going to go again. We're actually going to go back into that folder this time we're just going to recurse and instead of specifying file we want to specify the directory 
So this is only going to grab us the folders and not the actual files. And then what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a for each inside. Uh, we got to make sure that we create a variable here for each inside folder in inside folders and then open and close curly brackets here. Now we're going to do the exact same thing that we did at the top. We're going to create another size variable here and we're going to do size is equal to open and close parentheses get child item. And the path is going to be inside folder dot full name. And this time we're just going to specify folder. We're not going to do recurse. Now, if you did do recurse, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing. We can actually show this after once we're actually done and show you what the output is. It just gives you a lot of duplicate entries at the end of the day that you don't really need. So once we actually have this here, all we need to do once again is just pass that again to measure object property is going to be length. We want to make sure that we do the sum and we're going to do a dot sum here. And again, we're just going to create that exact same variable. I'm just going to copy paste it since it's very easy to do. It's just the size in MB and we're going to get the size in megabytes here. And then all we're going to do is do one last check here is if the size in MB is greater than, and let's just put in that same value here. So if it's greater than five gigabytes, we want to know about it. And we are just going to actually paste in that entry that we cut out earlier. And now if we actually run this here and we go look at our result, let me just make sure it's giving us still the folder names. And I think I know why. Uh, so the only thing you have to make sure is change this from folder to inside folder dot full name here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to run that. And there we have it. So here we can actually see all the specific folders where these large amounts of files are. Um, so here we can actually open up. So here we have uh, 101 documents and work. So I'm in 101 documents work. We can see that the file of 10 gigs is in here. Uh, the other spot for 101 was in old stuff, desktop backup, um, documents, old stuff, desktop backup. And there it is. There's the six gigabyte file that we've found. Now, even if you actually had multiple files, um, that equaled more than five gigs. So I know that these are only one file, but let's say it was a series of 20 different files that totaled more than five gigs that would still come up. It will still find it. Um, so this lets you easily find where the big files are. So now let's just show you guys what would happen if we had added the recurse here on the inside folders. If we go ahead and we run this, we're going to see that we get the full path to them. Um, so it definitely does work. It just gives you multiple entries, not exactly where it is. Um, it will tell you exactly where it is eventually, uh, but it does give you all the folders leading up to it as well. Um, so here you can see that we have some stuff in documents. Old stuff is still the same size desktop still the same size work is where you have 18 gigabytes and then the specific new folder inside the work folder is 12 gigs which means there would have been a six gig folder that's just in or that six gigs worth of documents in that work folder um, which I find if you just remove this for curse here and then run that we can see that in the work folder there is six gigs worth of file and then in that new folder there is 12 gigs worth of files in there so that could be a very, very great way to kind of investigate on your own computer or if you use this at work to find out which user has really, really large home drives on servers or maybe which department is taking up a lot of space and where exactly they're taking up a lot of space to be able to provide them that data to say, hey, there's about like this much stuff in this folder. 
and they might be able to say we don't need that anymore or we do still need that it is part of a project or something this is i find the easiest way to scan large folders there are of course a lot of other ways there are methods where you can actually use robocopy inside powershell to also scan the different file sizes i find this way is just pretty easy pretty fast uh, and it gets the job done if you guys have any quick tips that you guys would like to see on the channel please let me know in the comment section down below if it's on a commandlet that requires a specific module please just let me know the module that it's in as well just this way i can download and install that module and make the video and then be able to provide that information to the community so everyone can benefit please if you haven't already please hit that subscribe button hit that like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out and i will see you guys on the next video